One of the biggest challenges in the enterprise right now is how to handle a distributed workforce, whether that's by design in that you've got retail locations or kiosks all over the world that need to provide information to customers, or it's as a result of the modern workforce after the pandemic of being more diverse, more spread out, or just wanting to hire talent that might exist somewhere where your office isn't. There's a thousand reasons why working has changed, the distribution of information has changed, and we look at all of that all the time through the lens of storage review and what that means to infrastructure, IT admins, and everyone else involved in the decision-making process. Recently, we got to play with the Amazon Thin Client. Now, many of you see this and you think, I know what that is, I have one at home. It's a Fire TV Cube. And while you're sort of correct, you're also somewhat incorrect. If we look at the back, it looks exactly like the Cube with the uh, HDMI port plugged. But inside here, they've done an amazing job to redevelop this piece of hardware specific to the needs of Thin Client use cases. We've got an upcoming podcast where we're going to talk with Amazon about what that means and some of the engineering that went into this. So be sure to check out our podcast if you're not already. We've put this through its paces though and we've got a full review on the website. We'll link to that below in the comments if you want to learn more about this device. But fundamentally what makes this thing neat is that it's so easy to procure, it's quick to deliver, and it's really easy to onboard new users through Amazon Workspaces. We've got an instance pulled up here, and Workspaces doesn't have to run with Amazon's thin client. They've got apps for PC, they've got tablet apps, they've got browser delivery, they've got all sorts of other things. But what it does is it gives organizations the ability to spin up fully featured workspaces very quickly and deliver them through any device, including this little thin client. We've got a great deep dive up on the website that I'll also link to in the description that talks explicitly about workspaces, how to get it set up, what the process is like, and how that all comes together and can be managed by any organization. And in fact, we looked at not just task workers, which is the most common deployment for these types of uh, configurations, but also some of the higher end instances. You can see here, if we get close, we're actually running a T4 GPU inside of this uh, workspace session, which means that Amazon can even get you higher end workstations for those use cases where benefiting from a dedicated GPU might be beneficial. Regardless of the device you use with Amazon Workspaces, it's really easy to set up and configure. Tom's gonna to walk through that process now, highlighting the entire workflow from procuring something like this thin client all the way to deploying either a mainstream task worker instance or one of the graphic enable instances that uh, like what we're running here with a T4 on it. No matter which one you choose, very easy, very fast to configure. Thanks, Brian. Now, one of the things we really like about Amazon Workspaces is you can get the complete stack from the hardware to the virtual desktops from the same source. Right now we're taking a look at the Amazon Workspaces Thin Client. It comes in two versions. One um, is just the basic Thin Client with one HDMI port where the second one has uh, two HDMI ports and additional USB socket so you can connect printers, um, audio visual equipment. Another thing that we like about this is you can get it usually within two days from you know Amazon's great logistics services. It's super easy to set up a new workspace environment. I'll go ahead and do that. Super easy to set this up. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a new environment. It'll take me less than five minutes. First thing you do is you put in some users. You can add additional users, but it, you know, it asks you to put in a few to start out with. Go ahead and click next and then it lets you select the type of desktop you want them to have they have everything from the value desktops with one vcpus and just a couple a gig of ram and you know a small disk drive to very powerful gpu enabled desktops some of the desktops even have office pre-installed and licensed in them so we select that click next and go ahead and say create and that'll go ahead and start the process and it will take a uh, it will take a few minutes to spin up and uh, create that workspace. So let's go ahead and log into one of the desktops via the Amazon Thin Client. The user will get an email that has the registration code, their username, and a link to set the password. Once that's done, you just enter it into the Amazon Thin Client. You can see that this desktop has Office 365 installed in it, has you know all the applications that you would expect in it, and it's licensed, so you don't have to worry about licensing as well. This is the email the users get 
The first link allows them to set their password. Second one has the registration code. And the third one actually has a link to the various clients if they want to use those. You can see it has a Windows client, iPad client, Mac OS, um, Android, Fire tablet, Web Access, Linux. Let's go ahead and use the Web Access to access the desktop. I find this very useful if you're on someone else's computer or maybe in a hotel and using a kiosk. Go ahead and put in the registration code. Enter the username and password and you'll be presented with your desktop. Let's go back to the management plane and see some of the actions we can perform on the virtual desktops. Of course, we can start, stop them, reboot them, delete them. You can also add additional users to it. Um, you can modify the root volume, other things on it. Persistent desktop, it'll last forever. But you can all cre also create non-persistent uh, desktops pools. So every time that the user logs out, They'll get a new fresh desktop, which means anything they've loaded onto it, including viruses, will be wiped out and they'll be presented with a new fresh desktop. They're really easy to create. You tell it whether you want a, a persistent or non-persistent desktop. I really like the wizard that they have here. You can select what the user will be doing with it, and then they'll recommend some desktops. And they say the pool workspace with the performance bundle type is the one you want to use. You give the pool of desktops a name. We're going to go ahead with the desktop that it did select for us, but we could select a, a different one if we wanted. You set the maximum ses session duration, how long they can be connected to it, how long it can be idle. Then you can also set the scaling ca capacity, a minimum capacity, maximum capacity. That's how many desktops will be um, spun up to support the users the scale out policy and the scale in policy to make sure that you do have enough desktops for the users without over provisioning the number of desktops. Then you go ahead and sled, set the directory to it. So Brian, that's a real quick overview of workspaces, um, what we liked about it, how easy it was to set up, and how you could go to the same source for the hardware and the software. I'm going to turn it back to you. It might feel like it's getting a little repetitive. I said it was simple to set up at the beginning. We said it's simple in the paper. Tom said it's simple in his part of the, uh, the video. And I will remind you that getting going with Amazon Workspaces is about as easy as it gets when it comes to managing a workforce that needs access to information. We're just getting started in our exploration of what Amazon's doing with the thin client. You've got to remember this is less than a year old and already is wildly popular with Workspaces, which is growing and developing and adding new instance types and new features and functionality all the time. And we're really optimistic with, again, I said simplicity and Tom hammered on it too, with how easy it is to deploy these things. Amazon's definitely made tremendous progress in the way work is being done and we can't wait to explore more. Be sure to check out the description. We've got the links to all the papers and Amazon references. And just as a reminder, if you've checked this video out and it's whetted your whistle to learn a little bit more about Workspaces and Thin Client, we've got both of those links in the description as well for you to get all the way up to speed on what Amazon's doing and how they're changing the way desktops are being delivered.